It's the freaky fan of the NFL here again, discussing, um, of all things, quarterback battles going on currently in the NFL. Um, some of them, you'd be like, why? Why is that even a thing? I mean, it's obviously he's going to be the starter, and some of them would be like, okay, I can see why that's a quarterback battle. And I'll also say who I think will be the starter and um, kind of how they will do. So I hope you enjoy. Just sit back and relax and have fun. My um, number one quarterback I will discuss is uh, the Dolphins. Um, if Chad Pennington will be healthy and up to start again, or if it will be Chad Henney starting for uh, that crazy Wildcat offense they have now. Um, Pennington got injured. He actually threw that Wildcat offense. Um, um, I believe Pennington will win this because he has more veteran experience and knows just pretty much has learned his offense more than any and has more experience in the NFL, so he'll probably win that one out. Um, next quarterback battle involves three quarterbacks, actually. Um, and the Buccaneers with uh, Dan Carpenter, Free Josh Freeman, and Johnson. Um, Josh Freeman was the one last year that a lot of people were impressed with, and also the one I think believe is going to win because he, he kind of knows that team, kind of knows all the starters, and knows that um, 49ers have a quarterback battle actually that's kind of not really heard of but David Carr and um, Alex Smith are now both on the team Alex Smith is kind of supposed to be the big time first round draft pick never really stood up to his tag and Carr was okay one year for the Texans and was so-so the rest and then just sacked every time so I believe Smith will probably win that one out just because he knows everybody there knows the entire offense down Carr just joined the team so Maybe halfway through the season they might switch, but for right now, I believe it will be Smith that wins out that. Um, the Steelers, since Ben Roethlisberger is going to be out for a couple of games, there's going to be a quarterback battle between uh, Dennis Dixon and uh, Brian Leftwich. And uh, I know they've named Leftwich pretty much the starter now, but Dixon's also very mobile and uh, fast running, uh, not running back quarterback, but I know Leftwich will definitely be the starter now. Um, and he will probably be very good for them. I mean, he had his troubles in Jacksonville, but he should step up to the plate as Steelers back up. Um, the Eagles had one for uh, Big versus Cobb. Now they did name Cobb their starter quarterback, um, but I believe he will struggle soon, and Vic will come in and start and show that he can still play quarterback because I feel like he needs to prove something, that he needs to win games to prove that he's still the same quarterback that he was before the issues off the field. Um, Broncos have Tim Tebow, Kyle Orton, and Brady Quinn as their quarterbacks, and obviously I believe Kyle Orton will probably win the official start as they might go on, but I believe Kyle Orton will soon kind of struggle with the offense, and I believe Brady Quinn will probably step in because he was supposed to be actually the next quarterback, and he was actually looking really good for the Browns. He just didn't have options to throw to, so there you go. Brady Quinn for Broncos. Um, the Panthers will have uh, Jimmy Clausen as named their starter, but also have Tony Pike, who was a backup uh, last year. Um, Pike obviously has more experience, but I'm pretty sure Clausen will be the starter. They're kind of building their offense around him. Just signed him to a four-year contract. I know he's kind of named as the backup right now, but they said during preseason that might change, obviously. So I'm, I'm sure Clausen will win that one out. Um, the Bills has what NFL called the most quietest quarterback battle between uh, Fitzpatrick and um, Edwards. Um, Trent Edwards obviously been on the team forever. Fitzpatrick last year pretty much took over when he got injured and led that team to many victories and touchdowns and points. Um, if Edwards stays healthy, I believe he'll always be the starter. Um, Fitzpatrick, I only can see if he gets injured. Edwards was a very good quarterback. Um, Cardinals have Matt Leinert versus Derek Anderson. I, remember, I never really saw any success with Derek Anderson at the um, Browns. Um, I know he, did, he even had some targets actually with him, and he was still struggling. And Matt Leinert showed progress with the Cardinals, with their main stars, with the, um, Fitzgerald and uh, what was then named Quan Bolden on their team. So I believe Liner will definitely win the starter battle there and uh, make them go to the playoffs and be a good team. Um, the Rams 
Sam Bradford versus uh, Jay Feely, or not, yeah, Jay Feely, I think that's it, right, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Brad will, Brad will, Bradford will win because he was the first round pick, they're spending a lot of time, they're pretty much involving the offense around him now, trying to get him used to the feeling of the p time, and the other one doesn't really know anything about the offense either, so... Just because he acknowledged he was the first round pick and stuff, he'll definitely probably be the starter. And then the shocking quarterback battle, that'll be like, what? To be serious, it's Brett Favre versus Vincent Jackson. And who will be there as the starter? And that's why I'm pretty much saying this quarterback battle, because we're not sure if Favre will be there or not. Favor. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to say Favre. Even though it's not really how it's spelled, but, um. Um. If Brett Favre's there, he's definitely going to start, no matter what, and there's probably no way he's going to get injured. He doesn't come. Jackson's going to start. That's just pretty much the case. There's no other bad. I'm just put that one there just to say who's going to be the starter when day one starts. Like, who's actually going to be there? So, there you go. Quarterback battles around the NFL. Thanks for watching.